Yo, what's up YouTube? Lightsaber Samurai here. And you thought I was finished? You thought I was done? <laughs> I got these hidden gems, baby. Roll it! Alright, so first game I got up, Damnation, and this game is a game that came out, it was developed by a studio called Blue Aqua and published by Codemasters. Basically in this one, this takes place in an alternate version of early 20th century uh, United States of America, and this, the Civil War, had gone on for several decades, and you play a group of freedom fighters who's trying to take down uh, this, this dictator who's trying to wipe out both the Union and the Confederacy and kind of establish his own totalitarian uh, regime. So, and this one, it uh, takes on a very heavy steampunk aesthetic, which is pretty cool. It's a third-person shooter. Uh, it has a couple of problems, though. The gunplay, which I thought felt was okay, and the level design was unique in the sense that you do a lot of acrobatics to kind of traverse around the levels, which I thought also was cool, but in the same token, the level design is also set up for the game to behave as if it were a cover shooter, but there is no cover mechanic in this game. You can kind of crouch down and get behind pillars and stuff, but there's no backing up against the wall and then popping up to take shots and then hopping back in the cover, so that makes the game kind of tough. But uh, overall, I found it pretty enjoyable. I, I've just uh, I played it for a couple of seconds, and um, for the little bit that I played, uh, I think it's a game that I'm going to be looking at further. Uh, kind of your generic middle of the road shooter, but you know, like I said, third person hack and slash games and third person shooters are some of my favorite quick pick up and play, and then you know, go on to the next game. So um, if you're interested, if you see it, I don't know if you can see the price tag, probably not because it's going to be out of focus, but uh, take my word for it I bought this at GameStop for $2.69 so at $2.69 and maybe three after tax I feel like I got my money's worth so moving on to the second game on the list and this one uh, going into the fighting games similar to the uh, last video where I covered the what was it the uh, Bushido Blade the Kango Legend of the Nine this one here is Samurai Showdown Sin and this is actually that they announced that they're doing a new Samurai Showdown game in the series, but this one as of right now is the latest game in the series. The last one to come out came out, it was exclusive on the 360 and like uh, that Bushido Blade game, um, this one is kind of a, it's a third person, or excuse me, it's a 3D uh, fighting game, kind of similar to, again, games like Soul Calibur, but I mean the control, the control scheme is very Samurai Showdown. So this has a pretty good roster of characters and this has a story mode, your versus uh, your versus modes and all the standard modes. And I, I thought the game was pretty good. It's not going to be as fast and as fluid because they've made the switch from sprites to polygons. But uh, I thought the graphics were okay if a little bit lacking in color. Again, I got this game super cheap at my GameStop because they are blowing out the 360 pretty much any 7th generation consoles, they are blowing those out right now. I got this for less than $7, including the tax, and like I said, I definitely feel like I got my money's worth, and this might be a game that gets expensive in the future, who knows, so. All right, next up, I have a little game by the name of Rumble Roses XX, and trying to get that out of the glare, but you get the idea, Rumble Roses XX, it's the sequel to Rumble Roses that came out on the PlayStation 2, which I believe during that generation it was an exclusive to the PlayStation 2, this time you get it as an exclusive to the Xbox 360, and yes, I'll show you some of the gameplay, like I said, the aesthetic aside, it's very, it kind of it reminds me a lot, honestly, of like, Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball, it's got that, you know, kind of that risque aesthetic, that being said, 
that was a good volleyball game and this actually is a good wrestling game um it's got a uh, got a colorful cast of characters and it's got all the you know all the staples you have in some of those other like the dead or alive games where you can mix and match outfits and things like that but a cool part about this is in the gameplay and the gameplay especially if you go to just like a street fight the gameplay it plays exactly like uh, Def Jam Fight for New York, which is one of my favorite fighting games of all time, and this plays exactly like that, all the way down to the blaze attacks that you get in Def Jam, which I can't remember what they call them here, but they got their, their signature super moves that does a lot of damage. You fight until you get the knockout in the street fight mode, and like I said, the graphics were on point for its day. I believe they use the same engine as Dead or Alive 4. That's what the graphics remind me of, very similar to that. And they were pushing the Xbox 360 early because they wanted as many polygons as possible so you can get, you know, you know, as much, uh, you know, much fan service as possible. Very similar to what they did on the PS2. And I think the graphics overall, they're bright, they're pretty colorful although they kind of have that that um that that drab gray kind of overlay to everything but i think it's very serviceable it's a very fun game again that's another one that i found uh, i got it at my local retro store it's about 10 bucks so uh, it kind of fluctuates between 10 and 15 dollars but you want to snatch this up because i think this one might get a little rare as time goes on simply because it was such a great game so if you see Rumble Roses XX definitely scoop that one up next up next up is a hack and slash game that I've got from Snowblind Studios published by WB games that of course is Lord of the Rings War in the North and this game uh, from what I played is way better than I thought it was gonna be way better than it deserved to be um, It's kind of a cross between games like Shadow of Mordor and the old Lord of the Rings movie games that came out in the sixth generation like uh, The Two Towers and Return of the King so in this you can play as one of three Archetypes you've got your ranger you can play as you got your elf from Rivendell and then of course you have the uh, the dwarf um, with you know who in this I think he carries a crossbow instead of the axe but that's all good um, you got a range of magic and a melee character and this uh, like damnation which I forgot to mention earlier is co-op game so you can play this um, online co-op or you can play the split screen uh, or single screen couch co-op which is dope and so uh, you can take this game alone or with a friend in it um, the hack and slash mechanics work very well and they even have uh, finishers once you do enough damage you can hit the uh, the circle button in succession to pull off these special kill moves if you knock them on the ground and uh, you've done enough damage you can hit that do that one uh, hit kill stab move coinciding with the movies and uh, in the first mission I took a mission from Aragon and we went and um, took on some elves or took on some orcs to keep those forces from attacking him and the core group so you play as this this uh, trio of other characters and kind of they're in in between in the meantime stories kind of like you did in enter the matrix and so I thought that was pretty cool and you kind of see like some of the other unsung heroes that helps the trio um, ultimately take down uh, Sauron and all that so uh, like I said again that war in the north that was also another game that I got for less than 10 bucks so uh, definitely see that pick it up uh, the graphics were pretty good the sound was good uh, and like I said the gameplay was solid so there's that all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode, but just lay it down in the comments below. What are some hidden gems that you would like for us to discuss in the future? Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and like this video if you're feeling sexy. Subscribe if you haven't already. I do believe that's all I got for you. Lightsaber Samurai out. Peace.